This video is made possible by Envato Elements. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to a fresh new video on the channel. In today's video, I am going to show you guys how to create a very stylish and swirly looking background, actually gradient design inside of After Effects, which you can use as a nice background. You can add your text onto it and they look super cool. It's absolutely abstract. You can build up your own unique design using this technique. Make sure you stay throughout the tutorial and learn this very cool technique and create your own amazing gradient design. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video and get started. Okay, so here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition call this main as this is going to be our main composition for the width i'll go with 1920 by 1080 24 fps and 10 seconds long hit ok let's create one more composition which is going to be our gradient design so let's call this gradient and hit ok and inside the gradient let's select the ellipse tool and start building up our ellipse. Now the idea here is to create some random small circle shapes which will help us to achieve that nice detailed gradients and variation inside the gradients. So to do that here I have a small notepad which consists of my color codes that I want to use in this video. You can of course use your favorite colors whichever color that you like. So I'm gonna just hold shift and drag to create a circle like that. I'll go into effects and preset and type in fill to add a fill to our shape and then I'll add a drop shadow. There we go. There we have our nice drop shadow. Let's increase the distance and let's change the color to a different color just so that we can see it. And Maybe I'll keep it something like that. Then I'll copy the color codes so that I can get the result that I'm going for. For the drop shadow, I'll go with a nice dark uh, red color. Also hit Ctrl Y on the keyboard to create a new solid Call this BG for background. Let's add a fill on this background. And for this one, I can go with a nice desaturated dark purplish color. Something like that. Let's put this below. Then I can select this layer, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. And then I can just, you know, randomly place some shape right here. Go into my color codes and let's select this one. I'll go with a nice blue color. You can play around with the direction also with the distance of the drop shadow. Then I'll hit Ctrl, oh, I'll select the layer and hit Ctrl D. Place this one right over here make this a bit bigger and get a different color from your control C control V to paste that up select this one again make sure the anchor point is in the center so that you can easily you know scale this big and small by holding shift at the same time I'll place one right over here make this a bit smaller maybe I'll place it right over here and this will bring the drop shadow a bit closer to this and then I can just copy paste a different color on this one. So it's a dark red kind of a thing. So these shapes are pretty random. So what I can do is go into the main comp and drag and drop in the gradient composition that we just created. And also I need the background outside of this gradient comp. So I'll hit control X to cut that up and paste it control V. So on the gradient composition, I want to add some effects, which is going to help us to achieve that nice swirly gradient design. So the first effect that we need is the turbulence displace. So I can just double click to apply that up for the amount. I'll go with 20 and complexity. I'll increase it a bit like two. So we get a nice weird looking shapes, 
then let's add a directional blur all I need to do is increase the blur length to around let's go something like a bigger number maybe 700 it's a bit too big so I'll go with something like 500 let's start small from 500 okay 600 should be good yep that looks good and then I can add dual effect there we go and all I need to do is twirl this up also you need to change the angle so I'll say this is something like 250 because that looks pretty sick as you can see you can also play around with the twirl radius depending on the look that you want to go for but I like to keep it at 100 because I think it looks very good and lastly I'll add a fast blur on this now it depends on um, you know the kind of blur you want to use so you can see right now the edges of the gradients are not getting blend with, with each other so I'll add a little bit of blur and that is going to help us to get some blending now to build up the complete gradient design what you can do is you can lock this comp go into view create a new viewer just like that you can hop into your gradient and then you can start building up the design so basically what I can do is I can select them all hit ctrl D place them just like that so you can see we get a really cool look so having the, that idea in mind you can build up your complete design and that is what we're gonna do so I'm gonna just start spreading up it just like that hit ctrl D me place one right here place one right over here and place one right here just trying to spread it spread it out and I have used circles but in this case you can use any shape because the shape will not really matter as we are going for a much more uh, you know swirly look so it's gonna get distorted anyhow so you can just try to fill up the black backgrounds a bit and we'll copy this blue one right here get some nice variations there we go and as you can see so easily you can build up your very cool and nice looking gradient and you can tweak it anytime any way you want so I'm pretty happy with this result maybe one I'll add right over here just so that it doesn't you know doesn't remain completely black and that is looking great now what I can do is let's select all the layers so hit ctrl A to select them all hit ctrl shift C to precompose them and I'll call this shapes make sure it's on move all attributes hit OK and now I need to animate this in order to animate our background so I'll hit P to bring down the position properties create a keyframe go to 10 seconds and drag this just like so but right now you can see we have a pretty weird look now before we proceed further with this tutorial a quick message from our sponsors design better projects faster with Envato elements get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use templates for your digital projects create more with premium design assets video templates mockups, fonts, presentations, photos, audio files, and more. All with commercial licenses for extra peace of mind. Envato Elements will make any project better while saving you time, effort, and money. Get unlimited downloads with Envato Elements and start creating today. So to fill that space up, what I can do is I can add an effect called CC Reptile for the right side and then change the tiling to something like unfolded. So it blends in a bit more. And there we go. So let's close this composition and let's see our animation into the main comp. So there we go, there we have a nice swirly twisted background gradient design, whatever that you can call it. And it's looking super cool. You can also increase the 
fast blur depending on the look you want to go for if you want you can go with a nice sleeky looking background as you can see looks very nice but i like to add a little bit of um fast blur just to add some nice smoothness to it you can also add a u and saturation to pump up the colors a bit so you can add a bit just a touch like that play on with the radius also i think that is a bit too much so bring that just a touch and then i'll add a curves adjustment switch to alpha and just brighten this up a bit just like so and there you go you can create your abstract gradient design using this very cool technique so i hope you enjoyed this really quick tutorial and if you did if you want me to create more tutorials on this kind of gradient background design cause i have many different ideas for creating some very cool looking designs so yeah do let me know in the comment section below if you want this kind of tutorials more often and i would love to create it for you guys so with that said that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did make sure to subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative <laughs>